so now let's get to a question that is asked mostly on the internet so the question is like will chat gpt replace an employee In this vlog, we are going to know how to make use of ChatGPT and enhance your career. So, ChatGPT has various benefits when you make a proper use of it. So, in our previous vlog, we have seen the Google Bard and its usages. So, I am providing the link in the description section below. And if you have not gone through that particular vlog, I suggest you to go through this. And here in this vlog on ChatGPT, now let us try to see how ChatGPT can be helpful for us. So quickly just tap on try ChatGPT here and now we'll get started with the usage. So the very first scenario we are considering is like, so imagine a scenario where you have completed your education and looking out for a job as a software intern. So now let's ask chat gpt to conduct an interview for you so now let's ask chat gpt to conduct an interview for software intern so here i have just specified intern spelling wrongly but here you can see chat gpt has recognized the word properly and is giving us response back so this is the first step i just want to specify you over here like even if you misspelled anything then chat gpt will understand the particular word so here you can see like interview it provided me a complete interview format over here like how the interviewer is asking the questions and how the interview is responding to them and here you go if you follow this particular pattern so i'm pretty much sure like a basic beginner will get somewhat idea like how to proceed to an interview so you might be quite confused like what is an interview and what are the questions you would be asked in an interview then you can just raise a question in chat gpt and it will provide you this particular format so that you can just go through this and by going through this particular answer here you will gain some confidence you will gain some knowledge like what you need to prepare and what particular aspects you need to take care before attending an interview so that you will get a good response from the interview which you have attended even it has provided some complex question and answers also here like let us discuss a problem solving skill so these problem solving skills are most important when you are looking forward for a job as a software intern so how would you approach debugging a complex software issue and here you can see it has also provided a step by step process like how you need to follow and try to solve this particular problem so while trying to prepare for an interview then, then this will be a very good approach for you to make use of chat GPT and enhance in your career. So the next question what we would like to ask chat GPT is like suggest me some books on Python programming. So I'm asking chat GPT to suggest me some program related books. So what you can see here, it's like it's quickly providing the response. Like these are the books which you can go through. So related to Python. And now let's try to select uh, one book over here, like fluent Python here. Okay. So let's try to select this particular book and now summarize fluent Python. So I have just specified like summarize fluent Python. So summarize the fluent Python book and provide me the output such that I can go ahead and try to read the entire book. So here you can see it has provided the summary and instead of reading the entire book and knowing about it, you can just have the summary of the book and it will be very much helpful for you in saving the time. You can just go through the summary and if it is related to you then you can just go ahead and read the entire book so this is a very good option for those who are interested in reading the books and who just want to know the overall summary like how the book is and what are the points and aspects majorly covered in that particular book so you can just make use of chat gpt and try to know the summary of the book here and once you have got any response for the question from chat gpt you are having three options over here so the very first option is like copy here so when you tap on this the response will be copied to your clipboard and the second option we are having is like like button and the third one is like dislike button 
so majorly these two options will help chat gpt to consider your feedback and improve its performance so for example you have asked chat gpt to summarize fluent python book but it has summarized any other book instead of fluent python then here you need to tap on the dislike button such that the response will be considered and in the coming update it will be improved such that most of the users will get benefited from the chat gpt services so now going forward we will ask one more question to chat gpt that will help us to schedule our day so now i will be asking chat gpt like schedule my day i need to do a new course then also do my regular exercise and then practice chess go for a lunch lunch and finally watch a web series so let us ask chat gpt to schedule our day here so here you can see chat gpt has scheduled the day according to the time as well so based on the activities you mentioned here are the suggested schedule so 8 to 9:30 it is asking us to complete the new course and 9:30 to 10:30 it is asking us to do a regular exercise and 10:30 to 11:30 it is asking us to practice chess and 11:30 to 12:30 so here you can see it's like properly it has targeted the lunch time and it has also provided some suggestions like enjoy a nutritious meal to refuel and recharge and afternoon it is asking us to relax and watch web series episodes so just after the lunch it is asking us to relax and watch a web series and optional free time it's like 3 to 5 use this for your personal activities hobbies and relaxation of course feel free to adjust so it has almost given us a perfect schedule so now i will be asking chat gpt to separate this particular word okay so let's enclose here and also while asking any query you need to make it a proper way such that chat gpt will also understand it so i am specifying computer word so separate each alphabet and add comma at the end so now let's try to see how chat gpt will use this so here you can see clearly it has separated computer word into each alphabet and has added comma print each word in new line okay so now let's try to try this particular question and try to see how chat gpt will respond so here you can see the question we have asked previously when we ask one more question then chat gpt can easily relate to the previous question and then it has provided us the output over here and now let us try to ask one more question here how can i invest my money to double it okay in one year let's try to get the advice from chat gpt so this is like a finance question so first of all it is saying like it is a highly ambitious target and often involves high risk so it is just giving us a warning message such that you might you need to have a high risk investment and you might even lose the entire money so it is showing us the first option that is stock market so you need to invest in individual stocks and can have significant potential growth and the second thing is like cryptocurrency so the cryptocurrency is also again the highly volatile thing and investing in them can also get you some risk so here let's not get into the details of each and every point here but here what's the important thing i would like to show you is like chat gpt can also assist you in the financial problem like how you can invest your money and where you can invest your money and how you can double it and again end of the day it's, and these are only the advices which chat gpt gives you so now let's get to a question that is asked mostly on the internet so the question is like will chat gpt replace an employee so what will be the answer so just let me know in the comment section below like what is the answer for this particular question and now of course we'll try to see the answer here but i just want to know from your side like what is the answer in your view can chat gpt or any other ai tool can replace a software employee so now let's get into the details and try to see 
so using chat gpt you can build your applications so now let's try to see an example like build a game using python so now let's try to see the output like what chat gpt provides us so we have just specified a command like build a game using python so here you can see it has provided us an output like building a game so this game again is like a guess a random number so using which if you try to run this particular method then you will be getting a random number every time so you can just guess the random number here and also it has provided us an option like 1 to 100 so in between 1 to 100 you can just guess any number when you run this particular method so this is a task which is given to you to build a game so chat gpt can also answer this particular question and you need to build a particular game okay so chat gpt cannot directly build the application even a software employee can do this particular job and of course when you consider the differences there are a lot of differences when you consider both these particular aspects so you need to hire a developer you need to train them properly you need to provide the task and you need to get the output and you need to verify whether the output works or not and on the comparison to chat gpt it is less expensive when you compare to a developer and it provides you the information but again this information needs to be verified so if you make use of this particular code we are not sure that it will provide your proper output or chat gpt cannot build the entire system on its own so it just provides you the suggestions every time and end of the day a developer need to work on the solution and try to get the output done in the form of a game so now the answer to this particular question is like a chat gpt will only replace a software developer when there is a particular person who operates the chat gpt so in coming future there are also jobs coming up on this particular ai tools like how we can operate the ai tools and get the proper output and make use of them and also very important aspect you need to make sure here is like not all the information you get from the chat gpt or any other ai tool will be accurate so here you can also see they have provided a warning message over here chat gpt may produce inaccurate information when you try to replace a developer the person who is using the chat gpt need to verify whether the data is accurate or not so here he need to run this particular method and try to get the number every time and then he need to verify like this particular code works properly or not then only the proper replacement of a developer can be done so you might got an answer by now so there is no way a software job will be replaced by chat gpt chat gpt will always be a tool which will help a developer or any other role to do their work much better than before it provides us all the information and end of the day the person need to work on it and try to solve the issue so now here this is the game which chat gpt provided to us so what i will do is like explain me this code like a five years old can understand so here chat gpt started the explanation so in this game we are going to play a guessing game so here you can just try to compare with the previous answer what you got it has elaborated answer which it has provided previously so in general terms in general english it is trying to explain to us like what are the things we are going to do in this particular task so in this way if you are quite confused with any topic in your real life that might be that might be regarding to the studies or job or any other task which you want to perform and you are not understanding it you can just try to make use of chat gpt and try to solve those issues in a very easy way so in a coming vlog even we will try to make use of the apis that we get from chat gpt and also try to develop some applications and if you are really looking for that particular vlog just let me know in the comment section below and also try to subscribe to our channel for more interesting vlogs coming up